Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Career. Today is May the 16th, 2021. And um, I'm going to start off by doing a brief meditation and just to get myself and um, in a more peaceful state of mind before the channeling starts. So please all join me in this short meditation. So take a deep breath in, just breathe in. And when you can breathe in no more, then let it all go. And take in another deep breath. And as you breathe in, do your best to focus your attention on the breath, on following the rhythm of your own breathing. Just put your attention as though if you don't focus on breathing, you would forget how to breathe. So use your breath to be your guide, to completely focus on breathing and to let go of any other thoughts that's on your mind and use your breath in this way to assist you in being present in your body following the natural rhythm of breathing in and breathing out. And use your breath to allow your body to start to relax. Every time you breathe out, allow yourself to let go of more of any tension that you may be holding in your body. As you breathe in, breathe in relaxation. And as you breathe out, let go of any tension, any thoughts that may be starting to take you away from this moment. Just let it all go. Allow yourself to relax into this moment. Relax your head. Relax your shoulders. Relax your hip. Relax both feet. And simply allow yourself to come into this moment with yourself. And as you become relaxed, then set the intention to feel and shift your focus into your heart. As though you can actually breathe into your heart. You can breathe in right to your heart and you can breathe out from your heart.
as you breathe in, allow more of your own essence to come and join you in this moment. Really tune in to your body and check in with your body and be with your body. Experience yourself in this moment, in this body. Feel what every inch, every centimeter of your body is feeling in this moment. We have a body so that we can experience Our body is what we use to experience all that our soul has orchestrated for us. This grand drama for us to experience. So when you really honor your body and focus, focus on feeling, sensing through your body. You are doing a hundred percent exactly what you've come here to do as a soul. You have come here in this dimension, at this time, in this moment, in this environment, so that you can experience So be fully present right here, right now. And pay attention. Even though you may feel or think that right here, right now is so trivial. I assure you, it is not. Being right here, right now, being present and allowing yourself to truly feel everything that this moment has to offer you is the most important thing that you can do. Sure, you can use your imagination, use your mind to plan. No matter what it is and the great future that you wish to plan, but it is by being in this moment, by being present in this moment, that you can actually start to create those plans. To think about the future, 
do a little planning every now and then. But don't, don't dwell in the future too much. And definitely don't dwell in the past. If at all possible, be in this moment. It is only be a being in this moment. that you get the most out of your existence, out of your journey of being here and now. when you're in this moment, you can truly tap into your own genius. You can ask yourself what truly feels right, feels happy, feels engaging for you in this moment. you feel truly connected with yourself when you are in this moment. Being in this moment keeps things simple. It helps to keep our mind grounded. when we are in this moment and grounded. We start to recover what is truly important to ourselves. What truly is important is not the grand castle It's not the big plans, but it is those seemingly trivial moments that we spend. Connecting to one another. And more importantly, connecting to ourselves. Learning about ourselves. Those are the truly amazing things that we can do in the moment.
you know that your own powers can become so infinite that when you truly are grounded and connected and become congruent with your own thoughts, with what it is that you value, with who you truly are, when you know, when you get to the point where you know without second guessing or doubting yourself, when you get to that point, what you think in this moment becomes the command of the universe what you truly want to experience in this moment the experience that is congruent with your soul with your purpose when you become that much connected with who you truly are And then creating out of thin air becomes child's play because that's what the universe is for. The universe is to fulfill all your wishes. The universe is not here to frustrate you. The universe was made to support you, but you didn't know that. It's because you have not been very good at knowing who you are, let alone aligning with who you are. You have so many conflicting thoughts. You want things not because you want them, You want things because you want other people to see that you have them in order for you to feel respected or accepted. It's a very different vibration to create with one congruent intention than it is to create with 10 or 15 different conflicting 
ideas. You want this because you want to be respected, because you want it to be accepted, because you want it to look good, because you want it to not be blamed. So many different reasons why you want something. And if you get it, if you finally got what you wanted, because it's not truly something that is resonating with you 100%. You will feel good about it the first day, maybe even the second day. Most of the time, it does not even last till the third day. And then you would be on to the next thing that you wanted in order to make you feel okay inside in order for you to feel like you're not a failure inside. Every time you wish to have something in this kind of environment, in this kind of mentality, You are sending so many cross signals out into the universe. The universe is at a loss. Does she want to be shamed? Because she is sure is putting so much focus. on not being shamed, on resisting. You forgot that if you're focusing on shame, even if you're focusing on running away from it, you are still focusing on it. And the universe will hear, oh, she wants to have experience of shame, so let's help her. That is why there is a saying to be careful of what you wish for because you just might get it. Do we truly know what it is that we want? If you are connected with yourself, If you spend the time to truly connect with who you are and do the work of disengaging, from all the cross purposes that you have acquired. And 
and get to the point where you know yourself enough to know what truly nurtures you. What truly sustains you, what truly excites your soul when you are that connected with yourself. Whatever it is that you wish to experience will have power, power of conviction, power of being congruent with who you are. It will have so much impact that you can so easily communicate that to the universe and the universe will be able to hear you loud and clear and it would know, the universe would know how to connect with your other sisters and brothers. Who are willing to make your dreams come true. The universe will be able to work with you and for you. To co-create that experience for you. And when you see that what you wanted to experience is showing up all around you. Resonating. There is very little pushback. Creation becomes simple, natural. Do you know what you really want? Do you know what it looks like to be living the life? that you truly enjoy 
that truly resonates with you. that reflects your soul's purpose, your soul's unique talents, curiosity that feeds you. So completely that you don't want in this reality, in this dream to change for a long time. That you allow yourself to completely Rest and grow in this new creation. And that you can be completely in this moment, experiencing it without feeling any desire to run away. That you don't try to distract yourself that your life is becoming so engaging that you have no thoughts of needing to do something to kill time. When was the last time you become so engrossed, curious, and engaged in experiencing life? When your life, what is around you, in your environment, all flows together, there is no more need to compartmentalize. When your life is your work, and your work is your life. You would be able to Trust your own body to sense and to feel every moment. To get the most out of every moment. You would want every moment 
to be a full body experience. We are all capable. connecting to that version of ourselves. To become so dedicated to getting to know what truly feeds our body and our soul. So much so that the two become blurred. That's when your soul and your body can start to work as one unit. There's no more need to fight each other. That's when your soul wants is also what your body wants. Where body and soul are no longer separated, are no longer seen as being different. Where we have to deny our body or deny our soul when the two, when all parts of ourselves can work together as one unit. Within our body, we have been able to integrate integrate all the different emotions memories into one coherent unit that supports the soul and the soul the cosmic part of our soul is able to work with the earth part of our soul. When our mind becomes so disciplined, because all of our desires has now come together, work with all parts of ourselves so that we truly are able to work together as one unit 
each of the different pieces and parts of ourselves honoring each other. Make room for each other and respect the different perspectives of each other. When we get to know all of the different pieces and layers of ourselves. We start to get good at balance. And we learn how to balance, how to live our life so that it honors our soul purpose and also allow our body to enjoy all that a body has to offer. It is only when all parts of ourselves get to know one another everyone working together as one unit. There is no need for the body and the soul to disagree with each other. That is what we're aiming for. That is end result, a most desired outcome. Let us begin that then. Let us begin that reunification of all of the parts of ourselves. Let us know once and for all that the body is as much a part of who we are in this playground as our soul, no matter how sophisticated, no matter how advanced, our soul, maybe. That our body is just as advanced
It has to. That is what the body is designed to do. It is designed, our body is designed to be the perfect match for our soul. When we find the way, when our soul find the way, to be completely in sync and integrated with the body and the mind and all the other pieces of ourselves and all can become elegant in whatever the soul desires. And the body would be able to experience it, to be able to walk into that reality this is why this is what Our body is made for. Our body is made to be the perfect companion for our soul. It has its own genius. It knows how to communicate and work with the rest of who we truly are. To orchestrate the most sacred experience that we wish to have while we are here on this playground we called Earth. Take this time to set the intention to start to
integrate. To start to integrate all of the opposites all of the differences inside our body It is time to let go of any judgment that the soul, the mind, or the ego may have for the body. Allow any kind of incongruence to start to drop off. Hold the intention of acceptance. Connect with your body so much. that you start to understand why your body is the way it is. Your body is the reflection of all the thoughts that you have ever adopted and allowed into your mind. When you take the time to start to sort out all of the incongruence all of the neurosis, all the shame, the frustration, all of those are allowed to drop off, to be cleaned up. When your body is fully integrated, all of the discrepancies, all of the competing ideas have all been reconciled. When that happens, your body can truly calm down 
it does not need. She can't ill. It does not need to overcompensate. It does not need to do anything except be the perfect reflection of your true self. You have work. You have got work ahead of you, if you so wish to integrate all of these conflicting thoughts, conflicting sense of self. When you can reconcile all of that, then the true light within you, the source like being within you, would be able to shine, shine out. your body would be able to be the companion, the best companion for all of your soul's desire. That is what your body is made for. That is what we wish for all of you, to have that perfect union. To flow as one with your body, to love and cherish all parts of you. We thank you for allowing us to talk to you and spend time. And to be in your presence. 
and thank you for this privilege. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>